Yo, what's going on guys? In today, I wanted to talk about prospects that I believe helped their draft stock the most at the NBA Draft Combine and will probably now be heard on draft day. And some of them were definitely going to be heard, but I think they've moved up. So let's get with it. Okay, I want to hear your comments down below right now. Who do you think really improved their draft stock during the Combine? Right now in the comments, hit that like and subscribe. Let's get into it. This draft class typically has the same five names. Cade Cunningham, Evan Mobley, Jalen Green, Jalen Suggs, and Jonathan Kaminga, listed consecutively in some order at the top of most ranking. It's tar time to start including Scotty Barnes in that tier. Barnes was already seen as a lottery talent, but he's making sure everybody knows why he's worthy of becoming a top five pick. While many players in his draft range typically sit out of athletic testing or skip the combine altogether, Scotty Barnes took the opposite approach. That risk was met with a fantastic reward for his fans as his performance was truly stellar. Barnes is 6'7 without shoes, which is about the height of most wings, but his wingspan is just a quarter inch shy of 7'3, offering more length than even your prototypical NBA big man. His physical comparison is Rudy Gay, who has played 14 years in the NBA, and this is a pro comparison that has a similar physical frame, not similar play style. He has been compared to a taller Draymond Green as of recently, and NBA Draft Room says his floor would be a stronger Nick Batum. His shuttle run was 2.99 seconds, which was just a mere 0.01 seconds short of the top score among all participants at the Combine this year. It's also worth noting that his standing vertical of 36 inches was third best as well. He used that to his advantage in games as he had a steal percentage of 3.4% ranked fourth best among all high major freshmen in NCAA. And then the next guy. That's it for Sky Barnes. He's definitely going to be a top five pick. I think, I don't know, top five. I have him going to Oklahoma City. That's where I have him going. Oklahoma City. Let me hear where you guys believe he's going to go. Some people say he might go to Toronto. The Texas Longhorn big man, Jericho Sims, averaged just 6.6 .6 points a game during his four years in the NCAA, and he just took one three-pointer in his entire college career. A scout told Hoops Hype that Sims was such an incredible athlete that it would be shocking if he did not hear his name called in the 2021 NBA draft. Kind of how Yudoka has in Buki had a ridiculous combine last year and ended up becoming a first round pick when he was really supposed to be a second round after being a four year college player. But that became even more likely when the big man recorded what was the time, the second best max vertical among anyone who has ever participated at the combine. I believe now it's the third with Keon Johnson. His ability to look like he was jumping on a trampoline would be notable even in a vacuum, but his physical measurements are just as exciting and impressive. He has a seven foot three wingspan. Okay, now that isn't as impressive as Scotty Barnes has the same wingspan, but if you don't think about Scotty Barnes, that's still really good, which is the second longest among all participants in the event. And he was just dunking about all over the place, okay? He dunked on everybody during scrimmages, and that translated into live game action too. And he had the fifth most dunks among all D1 players in college basketball last season. And he shot 79.6% from within five feet of the basket, beating out projected top five pick Evan Mobley for the best overall mark among all high major players with at least 100 attempts in that zone. And no one has done more to help their draft stock than Jericho Sims has done so far in the combine. Now, Florida's Scotty Lewis was a top 10 recruit coming out of high school, and it was presumed he was going to be a one-done and go into last year's draft. Scotty Lewis instead opted to return to school to improve his draft stock after what some would consider a disappointing freshman campaign. However, he was not able to show much offensive productivity, which limited his upside in the eyes of some evaluators. But during athletic testing and measurements, he was able to remind the top decision makers why he's worthy to be a consideration when their team is on the clock next time or next month. Lewis dominated during the strength and agility drills, producing one of the best marks in almost every category. His max vertical leap, 42 inches, led all players except Texas big man Jericho Sims and Tennessee wing Keon Johnson, who set the combine record. He tied South Carolina's AJ Lawson for the fastest mark at the three-quarter sprint with 2.98 seconds. And he also recorded the fastest lane agility time with 10.45 seconds among all combine participants in 2021. If you plug in those measurements into the similar tutorial from NBAathlete.com, two players with similar measurements are stellar wing defenders, Marcus Smart and DeAnthony Milton. Both of these players notch a similarity score to Lewis of at least 91%. The 21-year-old has limitations on the offensive side, similar to Small and Milton, but his primary strength in the NBA is going to be his defense and athleticism. While he's just six foot four without shoes, Lewis also measured a seven foot wingspan during the event. That elite length gives him that huge advantage on the defensive side of the floor. Now, 
Iowa's Joe Weiskamp was a bit overshowered. Overshowered? That's funny. Overshadowed. Playing alongside Luca Garza, who was the top player in the college basketball this past season. But the 21-year-old wing is someone who gained a lot of fans by shooting 46.2% from beyond the arc as a junior last year. And he averaged 1.46 points per possession on catch-and-shoot jumpers per synergy, which would put him in the 90 cent... 97th percentile among all D1 players. Wisecamp recorded a 42 inch max vertical, the third best among all participants. For comparison, the reigning dunk contest champion, Anthony Simons, notched 41 and a half inches back in 2018. He had the fourth fastest lane agility time clocking in at 10.7 seconds among all participants as well. Meanwhile, with a wingspan of 6 foot 11, he is a competitive length even for a front court prospect. But if you put him at the wing, he'll actually have a size advantage over some of his NBA peers at that position. He's a floor spacer with solid athleticism and he's going to make a team whoever picks him very happy at the next level. I could see him sneak into the end of the first round. Now, Utah State product Nemes Kieta or Kieta, tell me how to say that correctly down below has been one of the breakout names during the opening days of the NBA Draft Combine. This is his third year in the row entering the draft. He entered in 2019, 2020, and now 2021. The former Aggies big man turned head on Wednesday during the anthrometric testing, measuring in as the tallest player at the combine with seven foot and a half in shoes. So almost seven one, while owning the longest wingspan at seven foot four and the highest standing reach at nine nine feet and four and a half inches which is ridiculous he followed these strong measurements with an impressive performance during the combine scrimmage Keta scored four, 15 points for his team shooting six of nine while grabbing eight rebounds and recording a block and steal in just 20 minutes Keta's team easily beat their opponents 94 to 54 great job and the last are three guys it's the tennessee boys first one keon johnson's guaranteed lottery pick now showed off his athleticism with a record 48 inch max vertical which breaks like a 20 year old record eves ponds impressed scouts in his first public workout since the ncaa tournament and just demonstrated improvement in key areas such as his three-point shooting he was lights out in the drill and showed off more confidence and brought great energy and he also measured well where he had good measurements like he six foot seven with a near seven foot one wingspan and was considered one of the best athletes in the combine and in the draft in general and they said his three-point shooting was very impressive. Then Jaden Springer posted like a pretty impressive athletic numbers. For, for, he had a max vertical of 41.5 inches, tied for six. And his measurement was six foot three without shoes and a quarter inch shy of a six foot eight wingspan with 220, 202 pounds. And he's going to still be 18 years old on draft day. So great job for them. I want to hear your opinions down below. What do you guys think of these players so yeah let me hear those thoughts but peace oh